Welcome to Plug and Play Kits. Today we will be showing you our three lock remote start that opens the factory options. The first thing we're gonna do is go down here and the plug that you're gonna have to go for is on the gateway module, which is right here on the back of the OBD. The clip is on the bottom. Push up on the clip, pull back on the plug. Once you have that unplugged, you wanna grab our harness and plug into the vehicle and then plug it in to the gateway module. Now, once you have that done, this is a F-250, so we include the parking light harness. For that, we have to pull the dash down. You wanna put your finger behind and inside here, pull back, same thing over here. It's gonna come halfway, put your hand in, then push out to pop it. Clips go down the sides. This is our parking light harness. You can unplug it and run the wire up through. Plug it back in. And unplug the parking light. Once that's out, you plug in our harness and then plug it into the vehicle. At this point, you can take and push the dash back up. You don't have to clip it all the way because I like to mount my modules behind underneath the light harness. Take the blue plug, plug it into the blue spot. Once you do that, you'll see the red light turn on. You want to put the key in the ignition. Turn the key on. Wait for it to flash orange, then green. Once it flashes green and goes solid, then you can shut the key off. Now, now that I've mounted my module behind the headlight and put the panel back up to start the vehicle, you press lock three times. You hear the horn beeping double time because I have the door open. Once the vehicle started, it has the takeover. You come out, put the key in the ignition, turn it forward. You'll see the ignition will light up. Put your foot on the brake. And now the car is taken over by the key. Now this kit has factory menu options unlocked. To get into it, press the OK button. You're gonna go through, you'll see the settings. Go down into settings. Go into vehicle. And then if you scroll through, it's gonna start on the DTE calculate. Go down until you see the remote start. Go into the remote start. You have climate control. You can set it on auto or last setting. Last setting is the better setting where it lets you put it on whatever you set it for, heat or AC. If you leave it on auto, it's gonna blow at a certain temperature and not either make the vehicle hot or cold. Heated seats, your duration, you can change your runtime. Um, you may have different options depending on what the vehicle comes with. The system with the check mark, you can actually disable the remote starter so it doesn't work if you're having service or anything like that. Um, and then you can go through and set the settings however you would like. 